everyone. So, back again in the garage, and I've come to the conclusion of something. It's just as easy to make two of something as it is to make one of something, as long as the thing you're making is exactly the same, which in this case it's going to be. So, uh, let me get to do a little doodling here. I'm going to need to do some cutting first to make right size pieces. But uh, we're going to make something for probably my wife and uh, maybe sister, mom, or maybe somebody else. We'll see. Oh, I know who I haven't made anything for already lately. My wife's mom. Hmm. Now there's an idea, folks. Let's get in good at the wife's mom, huh? All right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So I made a blob. I'm not sure you can see that, but it'll make sense eventually. Um, never claim to be an artist. You'll definitely see that when I make things. But uh, now it's time to do a little cutting. So I'm going to clamp these suckers down, get out the jigsaw, and try to make two shapes that are vaguely the same. I say vaguely because they don't have to be exactly the same. But as long as they're really close, that's all that really matters, right? So, let me get a good clamp on this guy. There we go, ain't moving. Put on our Googles. Let's get you a better shot of what I'm doing. Don't need the paint. It's not even the right color. All right. Let's make some noise, and as usual, I will cut the noise out. Don't worry. Okay. On to the other side. Getting tangled up here. Alright, we're getting there. Let's finish cutting this side out here. Alright, here we go. More noise. Okay, let's flip it around. Finish this final cut. I'm liking them already. See how he turns out in the end though, huh guys? Much more better. Alright. So, let's let you into the artistic process here. Let's take one of these guys to make a decision. Oh, I think that would look nice. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so we kind of center him. We'll make, hmm, let's see, we'll make feather up here, feather up here, feather up here. Then we'll kind of make that go on the other side here, same way. So feather, down a little, feather, down a little, feather. Follow the blood around. There we go. Make a couple more feathers up here out of this. This is going to take a bit of cutting. So, uh, let me get through this and I'll get back to you guys in a few minutes. Alright? So, I'll be right back. So guys, what do you think? I think I just need to make a couple feet. Uh, maybe a beak. A little sanding, a little painting, and uh, we got something here. So I'm going to work on the feet next, and I'm going to do that cutting, and I'll get back to you really soon, and we'll see what else we can come up with here to make these look good. I don't think I have any paint that I want, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to get some paint, I think. All right, well, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, just give me a second here while I get uh, some feet drawn out. Three, three, three toes, right? Yeah, we'll do three toes. One done. Someone I found out that uh, fingernail files work pretty well for getting in 
for little spaces. Yeah. So you can get a little bit of filing done on the inside between these toes. Just like you would on yourself, I guess. Well, maybe not you, but me. I got some horrendous toes. Why am I telling you guys this? You guys don't care about my toes. I, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm TMI, maybe? I don't know. But I'm going to go make uh, three more toes. Toes? Three more feet for these guys. Then I'll get back to you. So be back in a few. All right, so second foot, much scarier. It's a smaller piece of wood, and just, that was a little bit worse. That was a little bit not as good. But I got it. Uh, got to clean up the toes a little bit. But it'll work. Still have two feet. We'll have to see how I'm gonna do the next two feet, because I didn't like doing them this way. It wasn't as uh, well as I hoped tractor it's Halloween so they're doing hay rides in the field behind me so we won't that let that bother us so I'll just speak up a little bit louder but uh, other than that I might have to take this over to the sander and round this off a little bit so uh, let's go over to the sander all right let's get a little sanding done That is some aggressive grit sandpaper, I'm telling you. I'm gonna have to rethink that uh, sanding stuff there. Whew. All right, so originally I wasn't sure how I was gonna put these together. Had made up my mind between glue and screws and whatever else there may be. Velcro? Sure, why not? But I think I'm just gonna glue, screw these together for now and uh, kind of go from there. So I think. That'll end up looking better in the long run so I can take it back apart and get some, uh, some nice paint done on these eventually. Maybe I'll ask my wife what color to paint them. She's better at color than I am. Because unbeknownst to you all, well no, not all of you, some of you know this, I am somewhat colorblind. Yeah, I know, I, I have my wife dress me in the morning. It's much easier that way, trust me. So, let me finish this up here, and let's get some screws and screw this together, just to get an idea of how she's going to look in the end, because you never know. This may turn out to be a dud project, but I don't think so. I think they're kind of darn cute, and I'm liking them. But in the end, you know, who knows? We'll see how they look. So you go on top of here. I'm going to do one foot like that, and one foot like that. That looks something like that. I should have made a beak. Mm. Beak time, guys. Be right back after I've done sawing. Good news is, I found a couple little scraps that I think will work as beaks. Uh, bad news is, I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to put them on. These I might glue on. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can get a screw through here. Let's get out the drill bits. See what we can do. Time to get some screws. All right, we're gonna see how this works. Um, not exactly sure 100% how I'm gonna do this, but we'll kind of make it up as we go along as I do everything else. So let me uh, aim you all down a little bit and see if we can see what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, a little bit. So let's see. If I wear a turkey nose, I'll go right about there. Whoop, whoop, whoop. There we go. Let's get on a little screw here. Uh, I think one of these will do perfectly. We're actually going to do these by hand because I don't want to split the wood. I want to be very careful with it. I'm very nervous about breaking the nose. Ha! Oh yeah. The comedy you get on this channel its worth the price of admission, I'm telling you. Oh yeah, that is a beak if I ever saw one. That makes me happy. Yes, it does. Okay, now these will be a little bit more interesting. because I've got to put on like three or four different things at once. Huh. Okay, if I were per feet, I'd go like that. And then I'd go like that. 
then I would take my drill. Which is, uh, 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 things are shifting. Things are moving around. There we go. That's a little better. So right about there. Yeah. Uh, uh, hit a foot. Hit a foot. Now this, on the other hand, I'm going to have an issue with. I'll tell you that much already. So, to help out a little bit, the itty bitty little bit, I can grab one of these little bits here, a little Forstner bit, so I can, well, you know, I've got car sink bits. I should probably use them. Why wouldn't I use the things I've got? God, that's loud. My other drill is nowhere near this loud. Okay, let's see if we can get through everything with this screw. Not meant to find a longer one, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Come on, countersink bit, do your thing. Uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Dang, damn it. All right. We're going to have to do something here. And I think it's going to be use the Forstner drill down a little further. There we go. We'll drill about halfway through. I think that'll work out well. Avalanche! It wasn't my fault. You guys didn't hear that. No big deal. No one was hurt. No damage was done. As far as anyone else knows. And that's all that matters. Didn't hit my wife's side of the garage, so we're good. You're not going to tattle on me, and I won't let you, really. There we go. That's a little better. I'll probably go in a little bit further with that Forstner bit, but I don't want to go too far. All right, now for the other side and the other foot. Switch back to the other drill bit. So guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, but I would really appreciate it if you guys would like and subscribe. I'll get right back to you. Like and subscribe and all that kind of stuff because, you know, I want to keep making this channel and making these videos, but I also want to make sure that there's people out there actually watching them. You know, it's kind of a big deal there. watching them why bother making them other than the fun I have making them I mean seriously guys I'm I do have a lot of fun coming out here in the garage and playing with all the power tools yeah I'm sure you guys get that too I like to make things and I really like to make things this is the name of a channel I watch by the way I like to make things guy seems like a really nice guy I like his stuff he does I may be emulating some of his things, not 100%, you know, I'm going to put my own little twist on him, but I like him. So I just got one more to go, and I'll finish that off camera. Maybe I'll paint this one uh, off camera, but you'll see it soon. All right, guys, so I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Hi, guys. We're back. We've got our turkey disassembled, and we have our painter. This is my wife, Jen. Hi. Hi. So uh, she's going to paint the turkey for me because I am a lousy painter. Well, I'm not a stellar painter either. It's fine. And uh, I'm going to point down at what we're working on here so that we can get a good look at it. And we'll fast forward through this because it's going to be a lot of boring. Pink, 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 pink. I don't think I'm going to talk too much during it. So uh, we'll see you on the other side. See you soon, guys.
Next step is going to be let this dry and put it back together, and then I'll let you see what we got done. So we'll be back in a little bit. This takes a little while to dry. It's a pretty thick coat she put on. So see you soon. Hey everyone, back. The turkey is done. I think my wife did a great job painting it. I'm very pleased with it. Uh, this video will be going up very soon. Uh, I want to ask everyone to you know subscribe, like, all that fun stuff. Uh, you know the usual. Uh, we have the Facebook page. It's uh, Bishops WW. Uh, Bishops Woodworking. Bush, Bishops WW. You can find us there. I do post things quite often, more often than I post upon the videos, YouTube. But I try to get things on YouTube once a week on Tuesdays, and I've been doing pretty good at that. I shouldn't hold this in front of my face. There we go. Now you can see me. Uh, and I will be putting up another one next week. I do have a couple things going on that I need to get out. Uh, I've got some recordings of a, what was it called? A cutting board. That's what it is. Got that done. Uh, it's not the best cutting board, and from what I understand, it may not last long, so I kind of screwed that up, but I'm not too disappointed because it was a learning experience, so I will put that up next week probably, unless I have something else to put up. We'll see when it gets done. Uh, other than that, we've got a few things going on. i got a few uh, commissions to do I'm working on. Uh, one is a herd, both are actually herds of penguins, but one started at one penguin seven feet tall, a penguin five feet tall, a penguin three, and a penguin two feet tall. So huge penguins. And the other one is five three foot tall penguins. Uh, those have uh, scarves and bows on to match the gemstones, uh, birthstones of the children. So that one's going to be really fun. I can't wait to get that one done. Even if I don't put up a video of that one, I will put up photos of that one on the Facebook page so everyone can see that. Uh, but for now, I'm going to finish up this video, tell you please subscribe, like, everything is down below, you can click on this, click on that. Um, but the more you help me grow, the more often I can do things like this, uh, the more I can do. And that's what I want to do, I want to keep doing this for you guys, because I'm having fun. I don't know if you are, but I am, and that's kind of exciting, for me at least. Uh, so keep watching, keep liking. Um, and I will see you in the next video, guys. So thanks. Bye.